All right. We're going to do a quick guide on boats as they currently are in Raven Dawn. What you see in front of you is my, my pride and joy, my baby, my galleon. If you press Y, it'll open up your basically transport menu. We can see here it's a small galleon hull, auxiliary slot, weight, health, speed, all those stats there. This is the cannon we have in it, the shrapnel cannon, and then the small sail, which is the upgraded version of the basic sail they give you. Uh, all those stats are also available here. As you can see, we have a trade pack on us right now. Uh, if you're looking to get into boating specifically, You're always going to need to talk to the shipbuilder. What I what I recommend you do is look at the ships, see what's available. Uh, if you want to get out of the basic ship, you need to either go small fishing ship, small merchant ship, or small galleon. I personally, after you know playing the game way too much, I would not have started with a small galleon, and I instead would have started with a small merchant ship. Why is that? Well, basically, the main difference is that on a small galleon, I have more HP. Than other ships like 500 i think over a merchant my cannons fire a little bit quicker and that's pretty much it um the merchant ship's special quality is that it can just carry three more trade packs <laughs> by default so what that translates to is because trade packs are such good money running them over the ocean the merchant ship is probably going to pay for itself way quicker than a galleon However, a galleon will have better firepower and be better at fighting other ships. So I'm going to finish my galleon. But if you're looking to make money, recoup your investment, I would definitely go with a merchant ship. The other important thing is that when we're looking at these ships, these, this is a lot of mats, guys. This is, a, this is a big goal. Give yourself a goal. Chip away at this. Don't fucking over grind yourself on this. A, a, 10 reinforced plates is like 300 iron ingots, 300 refined planks. It's a lot. It's a lot. So it's a big commitment. Make sure, you know, you have your ducks in a row, chip away at it, mine, whatever you got to do. Uh, but then once you give them all this stuff and they just make the small galleon, that's it. It's just a basic galleon. How do you add to it? Well, we had to craft a basic sail. The basic sail was, if you press, a good way to do this is press P. And then, you know, you can go to the respective crafts over here. And then let's look. Let's just go down to ship module small sail kit right this was 60 craftsman's cloth 30 craftsman leather 90 craftsman thread now <laughs> i'm not going to go into costs but that was like to just to make the sail to give me 25 extra speed was like 400 500 000 silver equivalent of mats okay so it's very expensive to just upgrade your ship <laughs> so like this it's a very expensive part of the game just go into it knowing that um now, I haven't had anyone confirm or deny to me, you might be able to put medium and large sails on the smaller ships. We haven't tested that, but what we do know is that you can pretty much put everything on every ship. It's only really limited by uh, their, here, let me do this. It, it's only really limited by their slots, right? So every starter small ship has an auxiliary slot and a cabin slot. As far as I know, none of them differ. So my shrapnel cannon could go on a merchant ship, could go on a, a small fishing ship, right? And it would just have the extra bonuses from whatever. I think a fishing ship just does 10% more damage to fish when you're fishing, something like that. So, so the boating stuff is very expensive and it's very long game. And I'll be real with you. There's <laughs> other than the trade packs, it's, it's going to take a while to recoup this stuff. Like <laughs> you may never recoup how much this stuff costs. Um, but I, I want to talk about, I've been pirating a lot. We've probably taken hundreds of trade packs at this point. I want to talk about when you're customizing your ship, the things you should look at. So priority should always be movement speed, in my opinion, because if someone's faster than you, you're not getting away from them. If they're zerging you, you're not getting away from them. Now, if you're faster than them, you, the cards are in your hand. That's very important. So focus on the sail when you upgrade your ship. That's as, as much as you can upgrade the sail. But then let's look at some of the other parts, right? So since everyone has a cabin... What do we have for small cabin options? We have a small fishing crane, which is 10% damage on fishing abilities. Small trade pack container. This would ex uh, basically carry one extra trade pack, right? Small ammunition cabin is going to increase your reload by 10%. And 
and then a small maintenance unit, which is basically going to make your repair twice as strong. So knowing what I know now for PVP, small maintenance is probably the go-to. Doubling your repair is insane. This is what I would go to if I was trying to do dog fighting or uh, other ship fighting. If we're running trade packs for money, trade pack container. If we're fishing, small fishing crane. Now remember, I could fish in my galleon and put a small fishing crane on it. That's fine. You can do that. And you can actually, I'm pretty sure you can take these out and mix and match them and put them on different ships. Don't quote me on that. I haven't done it yet, but I can take my cannon off. I can take my sail off. It'd be weird if anything else got locked to the ship. Uh, so I could, you know, make a fishing crane and then say I want to build a fishing ship later and I could slap it on that. I think that's totally fine. It's kind of like Mr. Potato Head with the, ship, uh, with the ship parts. So you can craft all these things and have like a fleet and mix and match all you want. Very cool. Um, let me go over... The sails are pretty straightforward, by the way. There's not a lot to talk about there. Cabin, not a, lot, not a lot to talk about. Now, cargo, this is the stuff that goes in the auxiliary slot. We have way more options here. Uh, extra health on uh, the ship. We have ship emblems, which are just raw movement speed of the ship. Uh, we have small fishing nets, siege cannon, uh, a ton of cannons. I'll tell you the cannons that stand out. And I'll tell you the cannons that look like they're bad. Uh, small siege cannon I heard was good. I haven't seen it yet. Small shrapnel is what I use. Great choice. Uh, Piet ended up getting the hole breaker. He says it's very difficult to hit and it misses a lot of the time. But when it does hit, it's great. So this is kind of like a eh. I haven't seen anyone use the flamethrower yet. Mortar is horrible. This is the do not get this. It's like a huge delay. No one's getting hit by that. Broadside is phenomenal. This is the most damage you're going to be able to get uh, because it does multiple charges. So if you go in a dogfight, you can just, it's a ton of damage. I highly recommend this for dogfighting. Um, small floating mines I haven't seen being used. I saw someone use a grappling hook. It seemed horrible. Doesn't mean it is, just the way it appeared. And then down here we have... a bunch. I think these are like more of the end game stuff because they're costing 50,000 to craft. So these are probably like big boy accoutrements but that's pretty much all the custom stuff you can do with building a ship the other thing that is important is there are actually hidden things out at sea so this isn't directly related to the ship but it kind of is so i want to touch on it if you press j these are your artifacts right and these are basically like behind the scenes quest lines uh, that you accomplish on islands and different areas and doing Sejeko all the way through unlocked a pirate island that I can dock at, right? That doesn't have guards and has its own private mine and stuff. So basically, I would like you, when you're exploring through the game, to kind of go out and look around at some of these artifact things. I think I've only uncovered a little bit. I think there's way more for us to uncover regarding pirate docks. And I think they might have some more stuff planned with us regarding like an actual place to live out of in pirates. So be on the lookout for that. Go out there and grind the boats, run trade packs. Just make sure that if you're running trade packs, you do it with friends because if you die with those trade packs, you're losing those, okay? <laughs> Very important. That's it. Cut it. Done.